Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 374. The noun phrase today is purchasing power. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. Purchasing power is an economic term uh, referring to the amount of goods and services that can be bought by a particular person in a particular currency at a particular time. So currency, you know, the, the money that belongs to a particular country. Remember, um, currency sometimes can go up and down a little bit from uh, over periods. So sometimes a currency's value could be a little higher, sometimes it could be a little lower. All right, let's continue. Purchasing power can also be called buying power. Uh, the origin of this term dates back to the 16th century with the school of Salamanca. Remember, Salamanca is in Spain. And during the 15th and 16th centuries, I think that was, uh, you know, Spain had a lot more power worldwide. Uh, that was the time of, you know, colonizing, you know, the Americas and things like that. However, the Swedish economist Gustav Kazel is credited with coining the term in 1918. Okay, let's continue. Uh, and we got four examples to show just how it's used. During periods of stagflation, now remember we did a video before on stagflation, uh, one's economic level stagnates or stays the same. So you're, you're, it's not like your income level necessarily goes down a lot, but it's not really going up. But the problem is there's inflation, so prices are going up. So if prices go up and your income level stays the same, uh, thus one's purchasing power goes down. So that's how it works. Suddenly, with the same amount of money, you can't buy as much. So therefore, your purchasing power goes down. So sometimes, to be honest with you, it's not so much the amount of dollars, it's really what they can buy. That, so purchasing power is actually a very important term in this sense. Let's continue, number two. If one lives in a country in which the currency is appreciating, appreciating means getting stronger, uh, one's purchasing power can increase if they buy imported items from other countries. So in the other countries, either their currency is either staying the same or possibly going down, then you could buy a lot more. Sometimes they might say that, like if a, if a country's currency is weak, we could say, well, the country's a little bit like on sale. Like if you want to travel there, it might be a good time to travel because you'll get more for your money because you will have more purchasing power. Okay, let's continue. Number three, if one lives in a country in which one's local currency is losing power, we also can say depreciating, losing power, he or she will face inflation. Probably in their own country they will because their money doesn't buy as much and they still have to buy commodities, oil, things like that. And therefore, a lot of prices may start to go up and lose purchasing power. Yeah, because that doesn't mean that their income will necessarily increase either. So they will lose purchasing power in that sense. All right, and the last one here, if one lives in a country with a strong currency and travels to a country with a weaker currency and a lower standard of living, one can greatly increase one's purchasing power. So even if you're just on vacation and you say, oh my God, I can't believe how cheap things are in this country. Or if you wanted to stay or live there for a while, you could get a lot more for your money in this country with you know the other country's uh, currency if it's a lot stronger. Therefore, your purchasing power will be greater. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.